they haven't really made the land work for them. So it's like, and then they're working so hard to come here. I'm like, well, you like, sometimes I tell them, like, it's best you just stay out there and work the land. But they, then again, they're going to say, I'm selfish because I'm in America and they didn't get the chance to come here yet. So I don't know. Well, let me find out here. How old are you? I just turned 33 last November. Okay, you're 33, and I hear a child behind you. How many children do you have? Only got one little baby. She's only five months. That's good. And where is your husband? Husband? Mm. Oh, they didn't preach that either. All right, there, there we go. Immigrant family values. Now, let me be very, very clear about this, and this is not to denigrate folks here, but we need to have a we need to have a uh, truth and uh, not truth and reconciliation, but certainly a truth in advertising. Understand something here. A lot of y'all come from places where they, for whatever reason, has been inculcated into the culture to sit up here and just drop a bunch of kids out there and whatnot. And that works well on a plantation. But these are plantation values. On the plantation, breeding is okay because Massa got a job for y'all to do and he needs a workforce. He doesn't care about you becoming constructive citizens. He cares about you becoming productive workers. So if you're no longer on the plantation, folks can't sit up here and keep operating on plantation mentality and plantation values. Because your children need to have a firm foundation and they have to have a head start. They're up against Thank literally you. everybody else they're talking to has a head start ahead of them. They got intact communities where the mother <laughs> is not a woman sitting here struggling with a kid. It is a mother and a father raising a family. So because right now you're carrying three times the load and you have no ability whatsoever to raise a boy to be a man. You're incapable of doing it. You can't do it. You can't. The most you can do is make sure he doesn't go, grow up to be a bank robber and you're going to be challenged to be able to do that. But what you cannot do is raise a man. No, it's a little girl, though. Okay. You are going to have difficulty raising a woman. Now, I'm not going to say it will be impossible. Yeah. I would certainly rather see a girl raised by a woman than raised by a man because you end up with Venus and Serena Williams without the same token. Without a, a girl is especially sensitive because her job is different from a boy becoming a man. A girl is going to need to grow up with the idea of understanding what a man's place in the home is. And I put the word man in bold letters. Because a man has specific functions. Malcolm X gave a famous speech about that. And when you used to talk about that with the nation, when you talked to um, the Ivy League schools about what it is to be a man. First and foremost, the children see every day, the man is up before they are. What does that ingrain in their minds? Oh, dad's on top of things. I'm not going to really be able to get over on him like that. He's, he's in charge. He's on top of things. He wakes, he's up every morning before us. When your boys see that, they adopt that. When your girls see that, they expect that. So when they deal with a man mm -hmm. and they start seeing those when they see those characteristics in him, that he is certain, he is decisive, he is intelligent, he is competent, he is driven, he is uncompromising. She's like, yeah, that's like my father. So I know you're going to be a stand up dude because I saw what my father produced and you've got all those hallmarks. She recognizes them. But if the home is devoid mm -hmm. of that, just keep in mind, there's a real issue in that regard. So. What we see in a lot of cases here, and I got to just keep it honest here, whether it's Florida or New York, we got a bunch of Jamaican dudes and a bunch of Haitian dudes, and they're laying up with everything that wiggles and blowing out kids all over the place and passing on generational poverty. And the reason that that is base betrayal is because what you're really saying is, well, hell, nobody gave a damn about me, so I don't give a damn about my own kids. That destroys the value of being Jamaican. That just annihilates the value of being Haitian. When you say, I don't care what happens to my own genetic legacy, you are telling the world what the value of being Jamaican or Haitian is. And you're saying it doesn't matter. The very children can be left on the curbside. Your children are supposed to be the most precious thing in the universe, but they are not treated that way. And that is a brutal reality. This is a very ugly truth we have to confront, but a necessary one.